I'm Michael Coos with Russell Kate. We are two Mets on the mic. A gray day so far today uh, on your uh, Wednesday. Um, doesn't look like we're going to see a ton of sun today over the next couple of days either. That driving low, it's just not budging. So what do you see as we move through the rest of the work week, Russ? You know, you know, casually at a cocktail party, you know, you're talking to someone about the weather and they don't know that you're a weather forecaster and they usually say something along the lines of, well, I heard that they say that such and such. Today's a day I wish I could say they say because I don't <laughs> want to commit. I, I cannot commit to the yeah. forecast. It's very difficult to figure out where those little windows of sunshine may open up for a short spell and how quickly they'll close again because it's definitely unstable air that's spreading in here, wrapping around that offshore low it's already a little warmer than it was at this time yesterday. If we get a sunny break or two, that's going to create enough daytime heating to be the trigger mechanism to set off some slightly heavier showers, maybe a thunder shower by the end of the day. I'm just not sure if we'll actually get many of those breaks of clearing. So it's kind of a, a bit on the murky and cloudy side right now. Yeah, we at least have some heat and a little bit of humidity compared to what we had yesterday where temperatures were in the mid-teens. We'll be in the low 20s, it looks like, away from the water, feeling warmer than that uh, with a spot of humidity. We're almost in a bit of a wedge between, if it was an inland system, what I would have called uh, a warm front moving through yesterday, yeah. and then the trailing troughs one after the other that will continue to create that uh, rising air and the instability for the next couple of days. Looks like that take us, takes us into the early parts of the weekend, even. It, it really does, and at that that point, that low, which is west of Haida Gwaii right now, it gradually works its way down here. It's almost directly overhead by Saturday morning. And at that time, it's a vertical low. It's mature. It's starting to fill. It may not have nearly as much oomph, you know, associated with it, but it's going to be right in the neighborhood. We'll probably still get some scattered showers around the mountain ridges, at least on Saturday, if not parts in the lower mainland. And then Sunday, I still suspect that's our better chance to get some sun. I agree on the Sunday for sure. Saturday still a little up in the air. Thanks, Russ.